everyone, um, so here I am in London um, on a work trip but managing to grab a couple of hours to myself um, and I'm approaching something very exciting. Um, don't know if any of you recognise, um, give you some chances to guess. It is a black and white building. Um, don't know the era of the building actually, um, I feel like I should know, but it'd be Tudor, I think it might be a Tudor building. Um, let me see if I can swing you around. It's Liberty. Um, so I'm going to nip in and have a look around. I've never been. Um, so yeah, very excited to get in. There's so many floors. Um, and yeah, just have a little wander. I'm not intending on buying anything, um, but we're certainly going to have a good scout around. I've got a couple of hours. Um, so yeah, I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm very out of breath because it's taken a little while to walk here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spin you around because it's right here. There it is. The building. There it is, in all of its glory. Um, for those of you who haven't been, um, or maybe those of you that aren't in the UK um, or able to visit. It's an absolutely stunning building um, in London. So I've had a little look and it appears that fabric is on the third floor. So just heading on up there now is very extravagant. Very extravagant in here. That was just stunning in there, um, really beautiful. Um, I don't need any fabric from there, um, so I didn't get anything. I came out completely empty handed, um, but it was absolutely gorgeous to see. And had I had something really special um, that I needed fabric like that to make something from, then I definitely would have purchased. But the sort of stuff that I was liking was about £27 a metre, um, so. Not necessarily something that I'm just going to go and buy three metres with no intention of knowing what I'm making. Um, but I'm just heading to, I think it's called Berwick Street now, um, where I believe they have some more fabric shops. Um, so I'll take you along there too. So I just stopped um, on the way to actually grab my phone charger out of my bag. And it just so happened that I stopped right outside of a tailor's. Um, and he was making a pair of trousers and oh my gosh it was just beautiful and then he caught me looking so I had to walk away um wow <laughs> wow they were some precise cuts that he was making and marks and oh it was just gorgeous um but I've just arrived now at Berwick Street Market um which I thought was going to be more fabric but so far I've just seen food stores so We'll see. Um, Google has not proved to be very reliable as of yet today, so we will see. Wow, I found a fabric shop. This is where I just was. Um, wow, that was an incredible shop. Um, really nice fabrics in there. Gonna try and work out how we get oh there it is the front of missam fabrics let's have a look in here um they're quite high-end fabric stores i think yeah that uh 
miss out on fabrics. That was uh, high end to chalking saw, £79 a metre um, tailoring fabric. So, yeah, still haven't made a purchase. <laughs> Okay, so that's me back now, um, the end of my adventure. Um, it was absolutely gorgeous, um, loved seeing Liberty, even the store itself is just absolutely beautiful, even aside from the fabric and the haberdashery. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little whistle top store to Lon top stop tour to London. Um, and coming along with me it was very impromptu that i even got the chance to be able to go and actually go to the fabric stores um so i felt like i was rushing around um i treated myself to a little lunch all by myself as well which was great um and yeah very impromptu video but there we are i hope you enjoyed seeing yeah sure there's loads of places that i missed but here we are maybe next time um so yeah thank you once again for joining me on another video and i will catch you on the next one thanks guys Bye bye